right guys, day one, Lake Champlain. They're taking off right now. We're about 41, doing it 3.30. Um, a little bit different this week. We don't have Felicia with us for these last two tournaments. Pretty bittersweet because, well, she hasn't missed a tournament for six years. So anyhow, more about that later. I'm late on the intro. We're gonna go catch some smallmouth bass today. We're gonna take some chances, try to get some bigger bites, see what happens. Stay tuned. fish here today looks like a good day 19 pounds 14 ounces he moves into 12th place currently one of the good start here this week for hunter Tryock. 1914 not so bad you know the conditions change we got to get out there and figure it out tomorrow hopefully we get to go back out there tomorrow depending on the wind but uh yeah you know max Ant put it to good use we're out there fishing in 40 to 70 foot of water and catching those suspenders it's, it's a lot of fun so looking forward to tomorrow and wait to watch it go down he's an elite series a rookie from oklahoma 
All right, guys, day two, Lake Champlain got canceled. So we're starting day three, it's Saturday. We had high winds yesterday, so now we got to uh, start day two on day three, whatever. But um, goal for today, obviously get 18 pounds would be great, but um, big deal would be getting to that 20. 16 something probably to get inside the check range, but we gotta, you know, if we wanna move up the leaderboard, you're gonna have to have like 20, 22 pounds. So not real easy to do out here, but that's what we're gonna have to do. And um, it's gonna be a different condition today. We got a bunch of clouds, uh, not as much wind though. So that's that's a big deal. So hopefully we can go out there, put some Berkeley Max scent to use and uh, catch a few more bass. But got, got a long day, we check in at four o'clock. So boat 62, we'll see you guys in a second. What time did they come? Uh, last two hours. Oh, wow. All right.
big. Be a good one? I think. That's what we needed, bud. There we go. That's gotta help. It has to. Oh, we don't have a lot of time. We ain't got big, but it's still bigger than what we got. 100%. sure about that one. <laughs> it probably was, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, because I threw it back. Yep. It would have been uh, about two or three ounces. Yeah. <laughs> it looked too big. <laughs> I know, that was... Uh, yeah, I didn't realize that one was that tall. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't either. Because we didn't weigh those other two lines. We didn't weigh them because it was 271. Yeah. Yeah. And the two were the same, remember? Yeah. Three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from newcomers, Town, Ohio, Hunter Shryon. 19 pounds, 14 ounces yesterday. 1914. Looking for 1311 to get inside the cut. More to stay there till the end of this way and five fish all alive. 15 pounds, 13 ounces. He moves into 40th place with 35 pounds. 11 ounces so not sure you're gonna slide in there but uh you know another great event next week yeah absolutely you know it's just things got a little weird on me and the fish acted different and had to move around and adjust but uh ultimately you know this place is just full of fish and if you just if you don't get on them every day these guys are going to keep catching them and uh appreciate everybody for coming out you know i want to give a shout out to my family watching back home and uh y'all stay dry out there we appreciate you thank you Always great to have you here. So here is what just happened. Fishing Lake Champlain, super tough day. Two and a half pounders, three pounders do not cut it here. So as you've seen, we caught some fish, but it wasn't the caliber that I was looking for. Didn't weigh any of them. I was literally putting them in the live well. Typical, just, you know, I'm going to call through them. But it came down to the very last 20 minutes of the day when I started getting bites or the right, you know, the last two right bites. And I look in that live well and I see them. There was one in there and we've all caught them before. They're this long, but they're skinny. And that's what I had in my live well. Didn't realize it. Looked down over the top of it and thought, yeah, big, big, big. These are the ones I got to check and called the wrong fish out. So when I got back, I weighed those fish and the ones that I beamed were both like 289s. And the one that I threw back, yeah, the one that I threw back was a 289 and I had a 240 something still in the boat. That's a $7,500 mistake. I missed the cut by like two or three ounces. Yeah, 
That was pretty dumb. So my point is this, learn from my mistakes because typically I'm pretty good about that stuff, especially in smallmouth tournaments, tournaments because you're catching a lot of fish and you need to know where you're at, weigh the fish, put them in the live well. Didn't do it because I knew they were small, didn't want to waste the time. Came back and bit me really, really bad. And that's, you can't do that. You know, as a professional angler, you cannot do that. That's a big mistake. Uh, I mean, if I was in the position to need points, the third day is always when you make up ground and points. Yeah, very, very frustrating. So my lessons learned, you know, you always go through that stuff. You always figure those things out because of the, you know, stupid mistakes, but I'll never, I'll never do that again. So weigh your fish as you put them in the live well, specifically in a tournament that you're catching a lot of fish in. If you're getting, getting seven bites a day, whatever. But if you're getting 15, 20, 25 bites, yes, you need to go through that. So lesson learned and yeah, $7,500 just, throw it away especially when you you know had the bites to do it and it all happened right there at the end and I'm you know I'm thinking you know I need to get back in there because if I catch another three pounder we're definitely inside of the cut so next up we're going to be heading over to the St. Lawrence River be sure to check this one out it's going to be out like in a week or two so stay tuned I'll see y'all later <laughs>